How are people in the media still doubting the Memphis Grizzlies as if they're not able to beat contenders? I also misspoke saying that I want to see the Memphis Grizzlies and Denver Nuggets in the NBA Finals. I wanted to see them in the NBA Conference Finals. I felt I did. I don't know if I had to correct myself in that last video, but someone had commented that, and I just wanted to make sure. I just feel like neither of those teams are being respected. But the Memphis Grizzlies, oh, they're too young. Oh, Cha Morant isn't that good. Then there's that stupid narrative where they're better without jaw they have two defensive player of the year caliber players and dylan brooks and jaron jackson the third now okay and then you have john morant desmond bain one of the best shooters in the league santi aldama you guys know me encanta santi aldama es un jugador tan bueno porque a mi so, so soy un argentino argentino italiano yugoslavia would it be the Yugoslavia? I don't even know at that point. But I was, you know, I'm just going to stop speaking Spanish. But either way, this is a team that is being doubted as if they're not, they're not capable of. Dude, the, every single year they've been banning better. Taylor Jenkins from the Greg Popovich tree. Guys, she's been snubbed like two years in a row for coach of the year. But this is a team that's way better than people give them credit for. So let's talk about it. The thing is, this is a team that just keeps getting better and better and better with every game that they play. And if you just look at it, not even from just, you know, obviously they're up there, what, 29, 13, basically up there with the Denver Nuggets. They're the sixth best scoring 117 points a night against only allowing 111 points which is 10th they have the second best net rating which plus 5.2 defensive rating 109.4 the best defense in the league 11 best offense and 114.7 if you care for those numbers and this is a team that attempts the 18th most threes okay and yeah they're middle of the pack they make their three point percentage is 18th their three points made is 19th but they're second in you know two pointers like two point field goals and they're third in the amount they make and that's something that's big they put up a lot of shots like they attempt the third most field goal attempts combining two point shots and three point shots in the entire league nobody else attempts as many field goal except two other teams and they're second in blocks seventh in steals the best rebounding team in the league I always talk about this rebound demoralizes your opponents because you physically impose your will on them. Okay, there's nothing like just having two guys just have, a, you know, 10 rebounds on you where you just can't even get a board. Because not only does that kickstart a fast break transition offense, what it does, second chance points on offense. You know, that's something that I feel like people don't account today how much second chance points help a team and <clears throat> this is just a, a squad that i feel like every time we watch them i i feel like we we take for granted how good the grizzlies are and how young they are or you get zaire williams david roddy jake laravia all making an impact okay xavier tillman in, we're not even mentioning Brandon Clark. We talked about Santi Aldama, who's now found his shot shooting at like 37%. I mean, with like, what, almost four threes a game, averaging 10 points a night. You got like five guys averaging double digits on this team. You got you know, Desmond Bain and John Moran averaging themselves over 20 points, John almost 30. Then you get 16 and 16 from Detlin Brooks and Jaron Jackson Jr. Then you get 11 and 10, and then 10 also from... Tyus Jones gives you 11. Sansa gives you 10, and so does Brandon Clark. Then you get like seven points from Dave Roddy, seven from Zaire Williams. Jake Laravia gives you some. Xavier Tillman, when he plays, gives you some. John Conchar. John Conchar. Underrated. And I don't know. I just I feel like this is a team that we don't give enough credit to. So for me, that's where I'm at. Like. What do you what do you guys think? I feel like this is a definitely like let's let's like talk about the fact that this is definitely a team that deserves more recognition for 
what they're capable of doing. So let me hear your thoughts down below. That's going to be the video, guys. I'm going to peace out of here. Watching the Bucks game, so. I'm just trying to make these before my girlfriend goes over. Um, yeah, so. Um, if you guys have anything else that you guys would have wanted to hear from me, let me know down below. I would have more, uh, like to hear your thoughts. But that will be all for me. Goodbye, everybody. Puppies. Oh, I'm going to go now because... I got a friend in the other room.